What's up everybody, this is Dev6Rehab, and today we are going to play MMA President, which is the new MMA game that just came out on Steam. Oh, and uh, before you ask those two questions, yes, I own every MMA game on Steam, and yes, m most of them are a waste of time. Um, actually, the MMA team game is interesting. Uh, its, it's animations are kind of dumb, but I mean, it's actually kind of interesting. So, you know. Alright, so right here is when you open the game, this is where it first comes to. Um, if you have already another game, you can just click on one of these tabs and it goes right to the game you were on, I guess. Because it's, it's like autosave, you don't have to load anything. Otherwise, you just choose whatever file you want to do and choose the game. This is game. And then change. So now this file is called This is Game. And then here you pick uh, New Game 2020, New Game 1995, or some kind of mod thing that I don't have. Um, I usually pick this because it's less of a pain in the butt. This is like from UFC 1 or whatever. When... You know, there's like 15 fighters in the UFC in the whole world. So this one, you get one fighter a day, I guess, which is weird. This one, you just have a bunch and you can just choose which ones you want, so to speak. So, I mean, it's less of a pain in the butt. So I just picked this one. Yep, it's a new thing, blah, blah, blah. Holy crap. Okay, choose which one. You okay, Um. so they have a celebrities setting, which is, which I, to be honest, I've never used. Um, but, um, you get to select what year you start in. I just leave it blank because it does a default year or something, I guess. Otherwise, you can put in whatever year you want, I guess, which I don't know if that really matters, to be honest. But, um, and then you can start with, you can start the game with zero fighters, without fighters, or you can start the game with a bunch of pre-made fighters already in existence. Since you can create fighters, which I'll get into in a second, um, you can start with zero fighters and you make them all yourself, which is kind of a lot of work, I guess. Um, or you can start with fighters that are already default to pre-made. That's what I take, because there's a lot of, there's a lot of fighters in this game. And you can play with celebs or without, I guess, random celebrities are in this, I guess. I've never done that. This will be the first time I've done that. So anyway, okay. So these are all the companies that are already in the game that you're kind of competing with, I guess. You own the company that would be here, like if... Or you can choose one of these to be, like, if I want to be World of Fighting, now I'm World of Fighting, and then... New FC was the one you were, which you start out with one popularity, I guess. And then this one, you can you can play as any of these, because this is... They have the highest popularity, Malaysia Fighters. But, I mean... Or you can start off as the lowest company, which no one's ever heard of, that you're just starting and you work your way from the bottom to the top, essentially, you know, that whole shtick. So, boy, this is going to be a lot of explaining already, I can tell. All, you have a million tabs right here. Obviously, you know, you look at this and you're like, holy crap, that's a lot of tabs. Yes, but they are all extremely self-explanatory, except for a few, which I have just recently discovered. Because <laughs> it's like, I've actually played this game several times. It's really fun. I like it. And then I'll stumble across something and be like, wow, I never knew that was there. That's interesting. Cool. So in the title, I did put Sandbox. I wrote the Sandbox MMA. Or, yeah, MMA game. So what this is, is uh, you pretty much have two different kinds of MMA games in the world. You have the one that's kind of like this game, which a lot of you have played, where you're just playing as Dana White essentially and you're just you have an organization and you try to get the best fighters to fight and you don't really care who wins as long as they put on a good show because then they make you money and then you make money blah 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 and then sorry I'm a little sick that's why I'm eh, all the time and then the other one is you own a gym and then you recruit fighters and train them and you make money that way and you only make money if they win because you get a portion of their purse, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. You know the, the thing. So those are the two games. This game kind of combines those, which is really cool, which is why I said it was a sandbox, because you can essentially change or make anything different in this game that you want. Now that I got that out of the way, we're going to go through the tabs real quick, or the important ones. Main page. This is, you know, your company, company information, 
This is giving you uh, the top companies, like how much they're making, events, blah, blah, blah. Down here, recovery, uh, your fighter's recovery. This is kind of realistic. So when your fighters fight, even if they win, they're going to want like a good month or two of rest and recuperation, you know, even if the fight's over in like a minute. You know, it's like real life. They only want to fight like every three months or something. And then you got fighters that's recommending you to sign. And the only reason they're telling you, you should sign is because they have a decently high popularity. Because you want, you want fighters with high popularity. That, because they bring in crowds, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, that's that. And then you have messages. That's self-explanatory. Um, what we're going to do right now is we're going to go into sign fighters. Because we don't have any fighters. See, if you go on your roster, see we have zero. Except for this guy, which his name is Max Default. And I guess I might as well explain that right now. So, when you play this game, you are a dude that owns whatever organization you make. Okay? Uh, edit, by the way, if you go to, I'm getting ahead of myself. But you can go to Edit Company. So you have Edit People down here where you can change anything about anyone and create people. Or you can edit any part of your company. Which, right here, Edit Company. Edit Company! Down here is us, New FC, because we're in last place because we haven't done anything. And then these are all the organizations. And this is the name, and we can change the name to, I don't know, Fight Elite People, whatever. Change. Now our organization is called Fight Elite People, and we have $400,000, which we can change to any amount. We can go up to Mr. Donald Trump, and he can give us a small loan of $1 million, and then, bam, look at that. Now we have a $1 million. And then popularity is one. You can literally change that to whatever the crap you want. Same thing with, I don't they give you this weird option. Women's exclusive company, which the only one that does that is women of fighting, which kind of makes sense because they're called women of fighting. But everyone else doesn't have that. So if you want to change that, go right ahead, be my guess. I don't actually care. Roster, right there. So we don't have any fighters except for this dude, skill average, which averages their skill. It's 13, which the highest you can be is 99. So obviously... That's pretty crap. So the reason for this guy is, like I said, we're a dude that owns an organization, or it's trying to anyway, but I don't know. See, I don't know if this is us, or I don't know if this is just a random fighter they give us, and they name it Max Default. They don't they don't really actually let you change his name, at least, at least if they do, I have no idea how to do it. But anyway, which here, a big star, says your fighter, which is this dude. Bam. So you train your character. So this is you or your character or whatever. And you can train them and then you can fight them. So they kind of give you one fighter that you can just train up from scratch and you can train them anything you want. You only get to train twice a week though, I guess, because you're busy running your organization, I guess, which would actually make sense. You get to train on Tuesday and Thursday and they don't let you change that. But so let's say we want to do punching on Tuesday and then we want to do submissions on Thursday cool now the train right here uh, they always give you a hundred percent for your character which train is when they're training in a gym which all of them do by, by default uh, they have a number it's one through a hundred of how fast they train or how quickly they get better at whatever they're training at you know Obviously, 100 is the highest, so this person's going to train pretty quickly and get and get good pretty quickly and stuff. That was the best sentence I've ever put together in my whole life. They also give you your own gym if you really want. So, you know, you can hire coaches and, you know, I don't have anyone in my gym right now. When you when you sign fighters, you can put them in your in your gym and that what that allows you to do is you want you can train them how you want. Holy crap, this guy is 82. Dang, that's really good. Malky Cadell. That's a really weird name. So, okay, we're going to sign him. We can either give him a three-fight contract or a fight-five contract. He's only 100 bucks, so that means he's not very popular. Because if he was really popular, you'd be paying him thousands of dollars a fight. But here we're paying him 100 So, cool. Whatever. And sometimes when you do that, other companies want him too, so you have to outbid the company, which is kind of cool. So, Bazin... Bazin... Great, I guess. I don't know. We're just going to sign all these people because they're they're really good. So sign, sign. They're also cheap. I guess 900. 
700. Anyway, okay, so we got a couple of people. So let's go to raster, and now we got these people. Cool. So we can go over here, and let's let's see. See, their training sucks. I guess this guy's pretty good. Malky Cadell's 94, so he'll train up pretty quickly. So let's push train, and then it puts an L next to it for whatever reason. But um, so now we can go into gym slash training, and look at that. Now he's there. So we can either train him everything the same, which is what this is, all average, so it trains him the same. Otherwise, we can do striking. So this is striking. This is striking, this is ground, and this is defense. So let's see, his weakest thing is defense, I guess. So we can do train. Come on, there we go. Okay, there we go. So now it's training his defense. So his defense will train and nothing else. Yay, that's cool. Kind of what I don't. You can't put your guy in your gym though, which is weird. And you, I don't know if they, the developers overlook this, but you can't. You know, you can't change his name. But yeah. Anyway, so let's go ahead and book. So we go to booking, and then here's the calendar, and then you can book something, whatever. I guess right now is week one Monday, so let's put one on Saturday, I guess. And then it brings up your real little sheet here, I guess. So we can put a main event. Um, if you click one of these top ones like wins, it'll automatically sort it by how many wins the, the person with the highest wins or skill average Gives you the highest average blah, blah blah So then the way you set up a fight is you push the select so like Malky Cadell is gonna be the left fighter So we're gonna push select and then when he's gonna fight Boz and gray or whatever the crap this guy's name is and then we push select on this side and then shows both their pictures and then we put submit fight and bam it appears right there and actually I'm gonna delete that because I forgot to show you the whole round thing so like we'll select them and then up here it's set for three rounds so we can set it for five and then we can do book title and we can have in a main like a championship or the they have a lot of weird belts I don't understand this so you got main championship interim championship challenger unbook belt I don't know what that is so, we'll... so that's how that works and I'm going to show you stats because holy crap, the stats in this game are cool and off the hook. That's the, that's the best saying ever, off the hook, because people still say that. All right, as you can tell, there is a whole lot of information right here. And it's normal stuff, you know, like strike aggression, his power, kicking, punching, grappling, fighter IQ. You know, the stuff you would expect. So, and then we get over here. <laughs> and then we have looks, modesty, training, that's a normal thing. But then we have like sex appeal and fun and weight cutting and charisma and promiscuity. Speaking, I guess. I, I guess that's if you want to turn them into a commentator if you want. I think you can do that because you can hire commentators and ring girls and you can hire literally every position every job that has to do with MMA like in real life and then it gives you uh, it gives you a stat of how much money they have and how good they are with finances and likability and I think all that plays there's probably a formula that I'm not 100% familiar with that plays with all these attributes that will increase their popularity so but I mean their popularity goes up when they win obviously so currently this guy's popularity is 6 and his max popularity is 89 probably because of something to do with these stats i guess self-advertising is this how i guess people are going to come watch him and we got like cruelty he's apparently very cruel but he's a good negotiator but uh the two see this guy is not not all that good even though he's a good fighter because the two stats you want to look at are drugs and injuries if these are high which they kind of are especially his injuries that means he's going to get it says it right here He's going to get injured a lot. Like the likelihood that he gets injured and he's going to be out for like months is high. And then the possibility that he's going to fail drug tests, which makes his fight a no contest, even if he wins or loses, uh, that's very high as well. Which kind of sucks if he's doing a title fight because then the title doesn't count and it's a big waste of your time because he set up two people to fight for a belt and it was supposed to be epic and then it was a no contest and then they're injured. So you have to wait several months to do it again, blah, blah, blah. And it's kind of a pain in the butt. And then over here it tells him which submission moves he's the best at. Which is weird in some cases because some people hear submissions. He's actually good at them. But some people are really bad at submissions. Like they'll have 25 here. But then over here they'll have like one or two submissions that are in the 90s. 
So, you know, you're like, I thought you were bad at submissions, yet you're amazing at, you know, the armbar. So then, you know, the rest of the tabs are really self-explanatory. Uh, MMA Express is like a newspaper kind of thing. and it's Signing fighters is super easy, you know, because it lets you go through all the fighters that there are available. Girls, manager skills, coaches. Coaches don't work, by the way, early on in the game which I think that's supposed to be like no coach wants to work with you kind of thing. So you have to get either out of last place, you know, relatively towards the middle, or you have to, you know, I don't know. You have to either make so much money or have fighters worth their time. But um, I was kind of I was kind of confused about this before where because I never got coaches every time I click on it. Like none of them show up. Even if I made one, it's still never there. So I think that's the deal. I think you got to work your way up a little bit before coaches work with you. And then you can assign them to your gym training thing. So then the people train up faster. So it's, it's kind of neat. You actually train fighters if you actually care to. If you if you want certain fighters to get better, you know, or you don't have to. It's really up to you. Plus, you can, you can edit them anyway. You can make them better. You can do whatever you want. So, all right. So speaking of which, let's go to edit people. So like right here, you can do add. This is add fighter. So this is the first of three ways to frickin' create a fighter. So you can do add fighter, which you do the most of. So you go to fight skills and you put in their name, put in their IQ, and you literally fill out the whole thing, which takes forever because there's a lot of stuff because this is just the first sheet kind of thing. So you know you fill all this in, and then you go to fighter info, and then you put in how often their injuries and their training and their fun and flirtatiousness, blah, 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 blah. Info two, if you want to have, if you want to give them a pre-existing record, you can do that. You put in which pictures you want them to have, which I guess is just one through nine or something, I guess. I'm not sure. And you can also, you know, upload your own, obviously. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, if you want to make somebody and totally customize them out, um, this is the way to go. It's going to take a little while. So if you have, if you have to make a lot of people, I would now recommend doing this one and you can do this with staff as well. So create staff, you know, you can make the ultimate coach or ring girl or whatever you want to do. Um, but the second way of creating a fighter is quick ad, which is what I generally use if I want to customize them. Uh, cause you just put in their name and their picture and what weight class. And you can do a role, which is weird. You can make them a, so you can make a celebrity, I guess. Obviously, you could anyway, or uh, a fighter. And then this one, instead of one to a hundred, like add fighter, because this is one through a hundred. Quick add, you put in one through ten. You select one, so grappling nine. You know, you, you get the idea. And then what it's gonna do is like if I put in ten, it will randomly generate the punching skill between like ninety and a hundred. So. If you made a bunch of these and put everything at 10, not everyone's going to be like 99 or 100. Some people are going to be like 91 or 92. So that's kind of cool that it randomly generates them, you know, just to kind of switch things up so not everyone's exactly the same. If you had been to make a couple people and you put them the same, put the same number on their stats. Um, so I like that one. And then there's a third one that's called Generate Fighters. It looks exactly the same, which I think it can work the same as long as you push no for random. But what you can do is you can push yes and it will completely randomize everything. Like it gives them a name, it randomizes their name, what their nationality is, their gender, their role. It randomizes everything. So you have no control over what they have, you know, unless they put no and then you change these around. But that's exactly like add, uh, sorry, that's exactly like quick add. So, I don't know what the point of that would be, but you can randomly generate, which is what you would do if you chose the option in the beginning of the game where you start the game with no fighters and you want to make them all yourself. So you'd go to generate fighters and you'd just be like, generate fighter. Okay, I just generated a fighter. I have no idea who it is, though, because it randomly generated their name, you know, so I don't know what their name is, so I can't look them up to see what they got unless I had nobody, because obviously you can see there's already a bunch of pre-made fighters. But, I mean, that's how it would go. So you just do that and make a bunch of fighters, or you can make them yourself and make, you know, like Tito Ortiz and Chuck Liddell and all that stuff. So, yeah, so you can do all that. So, as you can see, there's a lot of customizable ability in this game. Let's go down to... I, I kind of touched a little bit on Edit Company. So, this is kind of like the cheat 
menu right here, editing company, kind of like editing people, so you can take any of the pre-existing people and go edit and change anything about them. So if I want to make this guy a god, I can just choose everything to 99 or high. I don't remember if it goes to 100 or it tops out at 99. I don't remember. But anyway, but go to edit company. And then obviously I already want to, I touched on this tab edit company where you can change, you know, money and blah, blah, blah. And then you can add a fighter. <clears throat> and what this does is it pretty much gives you any fighter available in the game and lets you add them to your organization. And that's including fighters in other organizations. You can just take them. So if I really wanted the best fighter in world fighting, I can take him. It's not an issue. So, which is kind of like cheating, hence why I called this the cheat tab, but, you know, whatever. And then if you want to drop a fighter without their contract running out, you don't want to wait because you were like, oh, I didn't meet, I accidentally signed a girl and I thought it was a guy because that totally happens to me like eight times. Um, then you can go to release and then you can just go to their names is all the names of my fighters and you just push release and then poof, they're gone. So you can do that. Um, add from save. So this is if you have multiple saved files and you were like, oh, I had this one dude from this other save file game and I want him in this one. So you just go to save that save file, go to save file four, and then go to that dude and push add and it would add him to the game you're currently playing so you know pretty self-explanatory um the rest of these are pretty basic and then everything else is pretty i keep saying this i sound like a moron but everything else is pretty self-explanatory let's see let's put let's make a couple fights and then i'll run an event so you can see what that looks like okay and we're back and i actually scheduled seven fights just to make sure that in case something happened, we still have at least five because every once in a while a fighter gets injured or has a pull out, I think, or something happens and then they can't fight anymore. I think it's if they fail a drug test. No, wait, that just results in a known contest. I don't know. Something might happen. But anyway, so we have seven, so we're going to be good. Man, I should have got something to drink. <laughs> I'm getting hoarse. All right, so this is the weigh-ins. So it's showing what everyone's a middleweight. I just hired a bunch of middleweights. Uh, some of these people have asterisks next to, is that what those are called? Asterisks next to, next to the name? That means they lost, or I mean they lost, they missed weight. So obviously they're middleweight, so they're all supposed to be at least 185 or lower, and this guy is 186 and a half, so he missed weight, and so did this dude. But the main event, people didn't, not that it really mattered because they're not fighting for a belt or anything, so, but. Anyway, so regardless, we're good to go. So we push continue and it gives us back to this page and then we're going to push continue again. And there we go. Now it's showing the pre-fight page of who's fighting who and what their record is. And obviously no one has a record because I just yanked them out of the gutter and they haven't even fought yet. Okay, so this is the fighting page. Uh, it's just text-based as you would probably guess. So what you can do here is you can either hit, hit space bar like that and then it goes by five seconds at a time so you can go through the fight bit by bit and you can see exactly what's happening of course it will take you quite a while to get through the whole fight especially when you get like you know five to ten fights on your card so what i just do is i just hit enter and that goes through the whole fight and goes right till the end so apparently in this fight maddox sedona uh went to a went for a submission from the bottom and won by arm triangle which is like, do you do an arm triangle from the bottom? I don't think you do. I think that's a normal triangle. Anyway, so he won. <clears throat> and then it tells you right here how good the fight was. The crowd loved that fight. So pretty much any time someone finishes another person by knockout or submission, the crowd will love it. And that's what you want. Because then the fight will get a good um, rating. So let's go to the next one. Go through that. Uh, you won by knockout, so the crowd loved it. Next fight... Okay, this one went to decision. Some of the crowd were interested in the fight, so that means that fight was not super great because not everyone gave a crap about it. Regardless, Marvin Hepburn... Or no, what am I talking about? Stein Cassandra... Boy, these names are intense. Stein Cassandra won by decision. He won 30-28 decision. But it wasn't that eventful, I guess. So here we go. Andy Rousey. I guess that's Ronda Rousey's little brother. So he won by submission. Then we're just going to blow through all these. This is the third fight. 
Okay, Zach Sanders won. This is the co main event, Holt won. And then now we got the main event, which you really want the main event to go well because if all the other fights go really well and the main event sucks, then your event as a whole still is probably going to kind of suck a little bit because if the main event sucks, everyone's kind of like down, I guess, because it was the last fight and it was the biggest one. So that's the one you got to make sure that goes well. And apparently it did, because holy crap, this guy ended this fight in 29 seconds by knockout with punches. Who's this? Ba Bazin. Bazin. Great. The guy with the weird name knocked out this guy, like, right away. So that's good. So let's continue the event. Okay, the event is over. And right here, good lord, this one. Okay, so this happened. Holt Bergman, this is the guy that was, I think I was talking about before, that he had a really high rate for drugs and um injury so he tested positive for drugs so this is rolled a no, a no contest now so this fight doesn't count but it did score a 90 so as far as the crowd is concerned they loved it this one got a 91 90 57 this is the one that they didn't like as much 82 94 89 anyway so at the bottom it says show rating 90 so the whole event got a 92 which is pretty good the show was rated as excellent which is good um, money out, so we spent $7,201 on all the fighters, because we had seven fights, and then we made, so we made $1,320, so we lost a little bit of money, but since the show was excellent and it gained some popularity, there's going to be more people at the next event, so this is going to go up pretty much, as long as you have pretty good events, this, this money is going to go up each time, so probably like your maybe your third or fourth event you're going to be making money and then it's going to keep going and then that goes up even that rate goes up even faster if you hire marketing people however you do have to pay them and if you get somebody that's ranked like 100 in marketing you're going to pay them like $900,000 a month or something ridiculous so uh pay attention to their stats and how much you have to pay them if it does tell you I think I actually hired a marketing person and it didn't tell me how much I was going to pay them and I hired the best one, and they were like 900 grand a per show or something. So then I was like 20 million in the bank before I even looked. So, yep. So if you look up here, um, let's go to actually uh, companies. Look at that. We went up to th we were in 25th. Now we're at 23rd. So we got n uh, four popularity instead of one. So we're up. We went up a little bit. And uh, main page right here. So our total money. Remember. Good old uh, Trump gave us that small loan of a million dollars, so we had a lot of money, and now we have nine hundred ninety-four thousand dollars. So we still got plenty of money, and it shows how uh, shows our rank and our popularity went up, and how many events we got. So, and then right here, it would if somebody had an issue with someone or one of the fighters was complaining, it would appear here. <clears throat> and then right here, your fighters' recovery, as I said earlier. So this is a list. I mean, there's more, so you can't see them all, but um, this is a list of how long they're going to be before they recover fully and then they still are going to want to train after this time runs out so that's why i was saying you might want to not schedule an event every month you know you might want to do it every two or three months but i mean that depends on how many fighters you have so if you have just so i got i got like two pages i got like 20 fighters right now so if you just have a butt ton of fighters you can have as many you know you can put on a fight like every week if you really want so let's see if i if i put a fight on this friday how many people do i have see i only got this one doesn't really count because he's training but i mean so i only got two people available really right now that are nice and healthy anyway okay so that yep so that is the gist of this game uh you can have a lot of fun with this game if you're a super nerd like me you can freaking create people like you do in D D. you were um you know you can roll like a 10 you could roll a hundred 100d or whatever or dice and then put that amount in or if you want to do this one you can do a d10 you know roll and then see you know how good of a fighter you can make by rolling dice i mean if you really want to and then you can still train them too you know you can make their training 100 and then stick them in your gym here and then train them so i mean there's a lot of customize uh customization with this game hence why i called it you know a sandbox uh because you can do a lot of things and it's i think it's pretty fun because i like stuff like this where you can pretty much just alter change or create things from scratch you know you can change anything you want 
I like things like this, and this game is like 13 bucks on Steam, so it's not even that much. So it's pretty much, it's cheaper than a lot of the other MMA games, and it's better than most of them, <laughs> or if not all of them. It really depends on what kind of games you like. But anyway, all right, so that was a lot of me lecturing, and I hope it wasn't too boring, and I hope you learned a lot from me, because... I'm informational. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess that's it for me. Uh, I will see you next time then. Bye. <laughs>